Good morning everybody. So, got a pretty exciting shave planned for today. I'm uh, gonna be using my new brush today. Uh, I did get a chance to use it yesterday. I did a live shave with my friend uh, Ross McBee for one of the Facebook groups. So, it's a really cool shave. Uh, this is gonna be a mostly identical setup aside from the soaps. But, brush for today is going to be my custom so this is a deranged donkey pour uh, it was turned by Derek Wheeler from Wild West Brushworks there's his coin on the bottom and in it is a elite razor 24 millimeter uh, high mountain white uh, bulb knot so this knot uh, I mean clearly it looks really big but here it is compared to a, uh, a saddle row so these are both 24 millimeters. Um, this is dry though, this is wet, but still, I mean, the bloom is extremely noticeable. This brush is huge, um, absolutely fantastic. The, the tips are nice and soft. The brush uh, has just a little bit of scritch right now, but I'm sure that'll go away as it breaks in, but just fantastic. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Deranged Donkey did a fantastic pour and Derek did a amazing job on the turn so I couldn't be happier. Uh, Spencer also does have basically a matching brush to this. Uh, it'll be going out to him later. So real happy with this one. So Sunday, Max Brecher, 8.8 Spanish Point. Fantastic. And soap for today is going to be Lather Bros Irish Cubano. So this is a green Irish tweed scent with uh, tobacco in it. So the smell is fantastic. Uh, I think this is Lather Bros new formulation. Uh, I'm not really familiar with Lather Bros. I didn't use any of their stuff beforehand, but this was very nicely sent to me by Chris. So again, thank you, Chris. <laughs> but yeah, this stuff, uh, I'm pretty sure from what I remember he really enjoyed it so really looking forward to it so I'm gonna get the face wet get the room water on my face just get the boom water Start. All right, get loaded. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Sunday here, so my weekend's finishing up. I know for uh, some people, they're already on to Monday. <laughs> my time zone is really strange. I think unless you live in, I think the only other places that would be different than me are like the, some parts of Alaska and um, I think like Guam and some of the other Pacific Islands are going to be a little bit behind me even, but yeah, I'm not too sure. So this is my first time using this soap, so I'm just going to load it pretty heavy. This brush is also very dense, but that's the load I'm going to go with made a absolute mess lathering here but set that down get this on the face this stuff looks good enough to shave with feels good enough to shave with too But uh, I was working yesterday and I missed the uh, 
the Talbot, Katie's Bubbles drop for the Valley of Fire. And uh, Chris actually was in my live shave yesterday and he said he was catching a lot of heat for it. Um, personally, I don't really get why. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a limited release, so limited numbers. So, I mean, you know it's gonna sell out. Talbot, also very popular. That was a huge dunk, but I'm thinking that'll be okay. So, it's really no surprise it sold out fast. Um, so, I don't understand why people get so mad about not getting an LE, you know? Uh, you missed LEs in the past. I mean, you know, before you started wet shaving, there were some LEs that you never had the chance to get. Are you gonna get mad about those too? <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you miss it, you miss it. That's the way I see it, at least. But this knot is fantastic. Uh, any of the scritch that I had yesterday kind of went away, so. And the lather that it makes, it's really nice too. Um, to me, the performance almost mimics a synthetic because I don't get a lot of the, the airiness that I can get sometimes when I use a natural hairbrush. And this soap is really impressing me right now. Lather is nice and dense. I uh, can take a good amount of water. All right, call that good for now. off a little bit. Alright. Here we go. Spreacher 8 8 I absolutely love using this razor. Um, when I was doing my live with Ross, uh, originally I was gonna go with the Ralph Oss, and then he told me, um, or he requested this stretcher. Uh, how could I say no? <laughs> And Ross did a great job with the straight razor. So, real happy for him. Um, it's real cool that a lot of guys are trying out straight razors now. So. And I understand straight razors aren't for everybody. The, um, can understand not wanting to deal with the maintenance aspects. And, you know, finding the right home for you can get expensive. Um, 
So I can I can definitely understand how it doesn't appeal, but uh, personally, I've really fallen in love with straight razors. So I just think it's cool to see people trying them out. against the green and the back I uh, just got a phone call so didn't miss much caught it right when I was doing my passes so just gonna rewipe right there just so that I'm not worried about any water that could have dripped down Leather Bros is fantastic though. Actually, you know what, um, I normally don't do it, but I'm going to try and go uh, just against the grain on my mustache with the stretcher. I can definitely understand uh, why people don't want to do, you know, the fool's pass. Um, it is called the fool's pass. <laughs> so, can definitely understand why you wouldn't want to, but I think it's good to do. Um, really gotta practice control of the razor. You know, unless you just can't go against the grain in the mustache area, cause you, you're sensitive there. Um, In which case, yeah, it would be good to avoid that. Yeah, goal of straight razors uh, is to be comfortable. And uh, you might see a little bit of a decrease in the quality because um, after the phone call, I just decided to switch back to the front facing camera just because it's a little bit easier for me to manage. But yeah, that's the shape. Oh, all 
but post shave on the bros uh that's pretty good um feels nice my skin doesn't feel dry um doesn't feel to me quite so uh, top tier but uh it's it's definitely up there i'd say um outside of my my top bases this is probably the next best uh so it's a real close um you know runner up i guess I'm gonna finish off with the matching splash so nice healthy dose So, uh, I'm gonna keep the rest of the lather in the brush for uh, the back of my neck to get shaved with. But, here's the brush one more time. I'm gonna clean off uh, the handle a little bit. There we go. So, here it is. Um, as usual, the camera doesn't quite pick up the the brush, especially these um, the resins quite so much. The wood looks fantastic though. Uh, it does pick that up pretty well. But yeah, the resin isn't quite as nice on the camera, but this brush is fantastic. Like I said, I couldn't be happier with it. So Derek, um, thank you brother uh, if you watch this. Fantastic job on this turn and deranged donkey um, I mean his work speaks for himself you can just check out his Instagram uh, and you'll probably want you'll probably be making one of these real soon the elite razor knot um, very impressed with it my only issue with it though is it is uh, shedding a bit um, I do lose a few hairs but I assume that's how a break-in for one of these would go uh, value for money this knot is $55 so, uh, I think it's a great value. Ooh, nice and smooth. So yeah, that, that brush is absolutely amazing. Couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. Went with Sprecher. Awesome as always. Um, not too much more needs to be said about this razor. I'm blown away by it every single time I use it though. It's fantastic. And then went with Lather Bros Irish Cubano. Great, great soap and matching splash. So, hope you guys have a great Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are. And I will see ya.